This is Capo Auction. We are proudly presenting a diverse group of material this month, which would be mid-century modern material and some antique items as well, and a great group of, of art and uh, contemporary uh, sculpture. Okay, on this wall, firstly, we have, we have a great group of artwork here from Jacques Lipschitz and Picasso and Mary Baumeister, a group of 22 Jacques Lipschitz pieces. In varying in sizes from the smaller version to the, the middle level and then the larger ones which are more valuable than the smaller. They grow in value as the size does as well. And all these religious themed gouaches and charcoal drawings were made for the molded versions which would come in bronze at a later date from these particular drawings that were done by Jacques Lipschitz. In this area of the gallery we have a great group of mid-century modern furniture on the far side of the table, we have an egg chair, which we have a pair of these, the purple ones. And on the other side, there's a, a red one. Uh, and here on this side is a pair of swan chairs by Arne Jacobson. On top of this table, we have a set of three Arne Jacobson side tables. Uh, also here at the, in this group, we have a Richard Schultz dining table. In this section of the gallery, we have a Aero Serenin dining room table and set of six chairs. On top of the table, we have a Reitfeld chair here, an example of a chair that was produced in 1917. Observing here, uh, a great example of a Edward Wormley side table with some Tiffany tile insets. Great mid-century table. In front of me, a Harvey Prober suede bench with a brass stretcher and bottom. Also a great piece, somewhere between $1,000 and $1,500 in the September auction. It's in great condition, great color, and in great, great shape. And then walking here to pretty much one of the better items of the, of the auction is our 1859 Steinway first parlor grand piano ever made. This particular piano is in fantastic condition terrific shape, has a, a great rosewood case, and uh, it comes with a matching bench, all made in 1859, it's in terrific condition. This, a lot of history behind this piano, and this piano came from a collector up in Connecticut, and we believe it's gonna bring somewhere between 20 and $40,000, depending on the collector and the, the person who purchases it.